Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the announcement by Theta Labs about Mainnet 3.0 slated to be released on April 21st, I think it is. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to talk about what I consider to be the most important aspect of the uh, Mainnet 3.0, which is the introduction of staking your T-Fuel to your edge node, turning it into what they're referring to as an elite edge node. And basically what that does is it allows you to, if you're sitting on a pile of T-Fuel, it's going to allow you to stake that T-Fuel to your edge node and that will in turn result in you getting paid T-Fuel by the edge node and they described it as kind of like that'll be the uh, think of it as your base pay and let's say that uh, it was 10 T fuel um, a day that you would get from staking and I don't know what the figures are I don't recall seeing it in the documentation but so if you're running an edge node and you have staked let's say 10,000 T fuel to your edge node and let's say that the amount of T fuel that they'll pay out and this is just a, a guess is one tenth of one percent of the amount of T fuel staked so if you've got 10,000 T fuel staked to your edge node then you would receive let's say 10 t fuel and what that is is you get that for having staked the t fuel and then on top of that you would also earn whatever t fuel you would normally be earning from just running a plain old edge node so it's going to be a way of increasing the amount of t fuel that you will earn by running an edge node and they're doing this as a means of increasing the number of people that will actually run an edge node they're sweetening the pot so to speak and I think that's going to be super great so the other thing they talk about is they're also introducing what they're referring to as burning of T fuel and that's a little bit more complex and I'm not going to cover that in depth here other than to say that they are introducing uh, into the whole mechanism a way that T fuel will be burned off reducing the amount of available T fuel so that's a good thing too so by allowing you to stake your T fuel to the edge node that's reducing the amount of available T fuel out there and the burning of T fuel under certain circumstances that also is reducing the amount of T fuel that's available out there so these are two good things for those that are sitting on a pile of T fuel and I think that's about it there's a lot of videos out there that go into way more detail than this one but I just wanted to do a quick overview so basically to sum it up by staking T fuel to your edge node you're going to have a minimum amount of T fuel that you will earn no matter whether the uh, edge node is doing anything else to earn T fuel or not as long as it's up and running you're earning T fuel and then when it actually does jobs that T fuel will be over and above the base amount that you're earning from having staked your T fuel to the edge node. Think of it like this, you're working in a car wash and you're going to get paid $10 an hour just for showing up and then on top of that you're going to get an additional $5 for every car that you wash as well. So if you're scheduled for an 8 hour shift you're guaranteed you're going to get $80 and then for every car that comes through during that 8 hour shift you're going to get another 5 bucks on top of the $80. So the $80 is there to get you to show up and that's the money that you'd be getting from staking to your edge node. You're getting paid that regardless of the edge node doing anything else as long as it's up and running you're getting paid. Now this is speculation on my part but I imagine things how the objective of this whole thing is to number one get you to run an edge node and number two to get you to keep that edge node up and running uh, let's say 99% uptime that the amount of T fuel you will earn from staking will there will be a minimum amount that you have to stake that's number one and number two the amount that you will earn is dependent upon your uptime if you don't keep your edge node up and running let's say 99% of the time 
then the amount of T fuel you'll earn from that stake will be less than it would be if you've got a 99% uptime. But again, that's just speculation on my part. So I hope this makes some sense and I hope it uh, helped you out some. If it did, give it a like. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any future videos. And thank you for watching.